The CDA is an ISO certified government agency since December 12, 2012. All CDA regional offices are duly certified in its processes in compliance with Government Quality Management Program. In registration, cooperatives may fall under any of the following types. Advocacy Cooperative, Agrarian Reform Cooperative, Consumer Cooperative, Cooperative Banks, Credit Cooperative, Dairy Cooperative, Education Cooperative, Electric Cooperative, Financial Service Cooperative, Fisherman Cooperative, Housing Cooperative, Insurance Cooperative, Health Services Cooperative, Marketing Cooperative, Multipurpose Cooperative, Producers Cooperative, Service Cooperative, Transport Cooperative, Water Service Cooperative, Workers Cooperative, and other types of cooperatives such as Agriculture Cooperative, CSF Cooperative, Labor Service Cooperative, Professional Service Cooperative, and Small Scale Mining Cooperative. The CDA provides services for easy access and ensure the smooth flow of the process. For those who would like to organize a cooperative, the CDA has an online registration which can be viewed at the CDA website, cda.gov.ph. The CAPRIS is a system that allows cooperatives to submit the CAPA report online, an acknowledgement receipt or letter with a reference ID that will serve as basis by the cooperative in confirmation of the online submission of the CAPA. Legal and Adjudicatory Services The CDA provides written legal opinions to external clients relative to the cooperative as well as internal clients seeking legal advice by different departments or divisions. The authority also reviews contracts in which the CDA is a party as well as the study of legislative proposals are also done by the agency. The following institutions are qualified for the accreditation program. Cooperative training providers such as Advocacy and Education Cooperatives Cooperative Federations Cooperative Unions Training Institutions Government Organizations and Non-Government Organizations Local Government Units State Universities and Colleges and Academe and Foundations Cooperative External Auditors such as Individual Certified Public Accountants audit firm. The accreditation program institutionalizes the conduct of standardized education and training for cooperatives and its officers and members pursuant to the provisions of RA 9520. The CDA Gawad Parangal is a flagship program of CDA that awards and recognizes cooperatives, local government units, partner organizations, and cooperative leaders. The most outstanding cooperatives are rewarded and recognized based on their individual and collective efforts. Partnership and linkages with different agencies on cooperative development. CDA is in partnership with different government agencies and private institutions, such as Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI, in promoting job generation and inclusive growth through the development of micro, small and medium enterprises to bring government services closer to small businesses in all provinces, cities, and municipalities. Department of Agriculture In identifying areas of collaboration that would promote the capability of farmers, fisherfolks, and rural women to empower them in agriculture and fishery sector. Department of Agrarian Reform in implementing programs to Agrarian Reform Beneficiaries or ARBs to enhance their capability and ensure the cooperative's viability as an enterprise. The National Commission on Indigenous Peoples In identifying groups of Filipino ICCs or Indigenous Peoples who need assistance in the organization of cooperatives and in establishing or joining cooperative federations or unions in their respective areas. Technical Education and Skills Development Authority To strengthen the capacity and competence of the cooperative members through access to technical and skills development trainings, especially those belonging to the indigenous and internally displaced persons 
scholars who pass the competency assessment will receive a national certificate or certificate of competency. Small Business Corporation Towards the promotion and cooperation between the SB Corp and the partner's member cooperatives in implementing the P3 program or Pondos Pagbabago at Pagasenso. This partnership makes financing more accessible, simple, and affordable to micro-enterprises. Banco Central ng Pilipinas To coordinate efforts consistent with the provisions of the General Banking Law of 2000 and Republic Act No. 9520 to ensure that cooperative banks are appropriately and effectively supervised and regulated. Department of Interior and Local Government Created a joint memorandum circular together with CDA to all LGUs for cooperative promotion, organization, and development. Philippine Coconut Authority to recommend systems and procedures and specific activities for the different requirements. Formulate institution and capacity building programs and the essential curriculum standards. Establish linkages with private development institutions for financial support services to promote countryside development, among others. Land Bank of the Philippines in programs and services offered to elevate the current state of livelihood of cooperative members and community. Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants In ensuring that the cooperatives would be able to prepare its financial statements in compliance with the Philippine Financial Reporting Framework and assist in training cooperatives on financial aspects. Code NGO Business Continuity Management has the goal of building capabilities of cooperatives on responding and preparing for disasters and emergencies for them to be able to respond effectively to crises affecting their areas. Filipino Inventor Society Producers Cooperative In the promotion of cooperatives, their programs and services, marketing of their products, and provision of technical assistance from CDA. Interagency Partnership or Membership the CDA is part of the National Task Force on Ending Local Communist Armed Conflict, which was created to synchronize the utilization of the government's instrumentalities of power with the capabilities of private sector stakeholders to finally end the atrocities committed against the people. The CDA is in partnership with the National Anti-Poverty Commission, tasked to enhance NAPSIS' ability to institutionalize the basic sector and NGO participation in effective planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of the anti-poverty programs at all levels. NAPSIS has 14 basic sectors, one of which are cooperatives. The CDA is part of the Anti-Money Laundering Council, which is tasked to protect the integrity and confidentiality of bank accounts and to ensure that the Philippines shall not be used in any unlawful activity. The e-marketplace serves as a business catalyst for cooperatives and the private sector. The matching of producers and consumers is more efficiently done with the sharing of relevant online information. Technical Assistance for Micro-Cooperatives Marawi Rehabilitation through Cooperativism is a program to assist the internally displaced persons affected by the Marawi siege. Mindanao Peace and Normalization through Cooperative Development intends to positively contribute to the normalization process in the areas of conflict in Mindanao among the decommissioned combatants of the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces. The project provided mobile mini rice mills among pre-selected cooperatives and its complementing livelihood support program in sustaining their cooperative operation. Membership in International Organizations International Cooperative Alliance is a cooperative union representing the cooperative movement worldwide. The ICA maintains a definition of a cooperative in the Statement of the Cooperative Identity, represents 313 cooperative federations and organizations in 109 countries. Network for the Development of Agricultural Cooperatives in Asia and the Pacific is a unique regional forum linking 21 APEX cooperative organizations in 12 countries. 
It promotes the key role for agricultural cooperatives in agricultural and rural development in Asia and the Pacific. To strengthen the participation of agricultural cooperatives, ASEAN has been facilitating a dialogue on agricultural cooperatives development through the ASEAN Sectoral Working Group on Agricultural Cooperatives and the ASEAN Center for the Development of Agricultural Cooperatives. The Philippines, represented by the CDA, is one of the member countries of ASEDAC. The ASEDAC has developmental objectives, which are to promote development and growth of agricultural cooperatives, environmental concerns, and sustainable development, exchange of relevant information and experiences, to promote cooperative efforts in human resources development and management, and for promotion of research and development programmed in agricultural cooperatives in agribusiness development. You may visit the CDA website at www.cda.gov.ph or contact the telephone numbers for more information.